Hello, in this video I'll show you how to configure the Data Hub to act as an OPC gateway to exchange data between OPC UA and DA systems. So let's get started. Let's open up the Cogent Data Hub and bring up Properties. The Data Hub can act as an OPC gateway because it can be an OPC client an OPC UA client, OPC UA server, and a DA client and DA server all at the same time. So we can exchange data between OPC UA and DA through the data hub. In this example, I'm going to connect to a UA server and then read the information from a DA client. So to start with, let's connect to our UA server and locally on this machine I know that my UA server endpoint is this. Let's test to make sure I'm right. Yes, we made a connection. Okay, so I'm going to manually select some of the data from the UA server. So let's go down. There's 5,000 points in this directory here, but I'm just going to choose a few of them and we'll select those. And these points that we're reading into the data hub, I'm going to store that information in a data hub domain that I'm going to call UA sample. So click OK and apply. And there we are, we're running. If we take a look at view data, here's our UA sample data domain. If we browse the tree, here we can see the data updating. Now, you know, one of the things I forgot to do I'll come back, edit that configuration. I want the update rate to be a little quicker, so I'm going to set it at 250 milliseconds. Apply, or OK, and then apply. And there you go. See, we're getting a bit more update speed in the data hub. So we've read data out of our UA server into the data hub. Now for the data hub to act as a, an OPC gateway, we're going to open up our DA client program. So this is the OPC Foundation's um, sample DA client, and I will get it to browse for the data hub. So it's going to be connecting to the Cogent Data Hub's DA server interface. And we have connected. I'll tell it to create a subscription. I think it needs a label. And again, let's reduce our update rate so we get a bit quicker performance. And there it's interrogated the data hub and we're going to select some data from this domain. And I'll tell it to select all the children. Go to next and done. And there you see our data updating in the DA client. So the Data Hub acts as an OPC client, or OPC UA client, in order to read the data from the UA server. And it also acts as a DA server so that our data access client or DA client can get the data from the Data Hub. So that's how the Data Hub can act as an OPC UA to DA um, uh, gateway. And obviously, because we can act as both a client and a server, we could have connected to a DA server and then read that information into a UA client. Works both ways. 